Hivers, welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be making a couple of cards using the Unbounded Love stamp set, along with the uh, flowering Flowers of Beauty dies, which is all in the same suite of products, but these are not a bundle. And then we're going to be using the Nested Essential dies on one of the cards as well. But before we get started on our projects, of course, we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day. So let's start with the Life is Sweet Paper Pumpkin Kit. This kit makes nine cards and comes with the Shy Shamrock Stampin' Spot and features the new 2024 to 26 in colors. If you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you can go ahead and purchase the Thanks and Beyond dies add-on for $12. The item number is 164397, and these dies do coordinate with April, May, and June Paper Pumpkin Kit. There's a link in the description box below for you to sign up for the Paper Pumpkin. Next, we have our mystery boxes. These are the medium flat rate USPS boxes that I have stuffed full of new and used all retired Stamp It Up products. I'm asking $30 for each box, shipping is included. I can only sell and mail in the United States. If you're interested, please go ahead and email me at stampwithshauna at gmail.com. Next up, we have our host code. This is the code I want you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, don't use this host code because you're going to qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free product from Stampin' Up! And I don't want you to miss out on any of your freebies. Lastly, we have our join special. For the month of May, Stampin' Up! is offering a fantastic deal whenever you purchase the starter kit, okay? The starter kit is $99 plus tax. You get to choose $125 worth of product, any product of your choice. And along with that, you're going to get a previous paper pumpkin kit in your kit, as well as a business supply pack. But during the month of May for the special, Stamp It Up is going to give you all of these in color items for free, which is an $82 value. So you're going to get five classic stamping pads in the in colors. You're going to get the eight and a half by 11 variety pack of cardstock the six by six designer series paper in the end colors and as well as the um, stamp and write markers in the 2024 to 26 end colors. So that is a lot over $200 worth of product you're going to get for $99 plus tax. And the bonus is it's all going to ship for free because there's no shipping when you purchase the starter kit. Okay. So if you're interested, there's a link in the description box below, and I would love to have you join my team, Honeybees Stampin' Hive. All right, let's get started on our project because we have a couple to make and it's going to take a minute. So I've gone ahead and made our inside of the card. It is basic white three and a half by um, four and three fourths. And i added a piece of the 24 to 26 glimmer paper in the peach pie color um, and stamped in misty moonlight is believing in brighter tomorrow. So that is going to go with our outside sentiment and you'll see how it coordinates. So we're going to go ahead and glue this into our card base of peach pie, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter, burnish that down with our bone folder. And let's go ahead and get this glued in. Okay. We're just going to glue this right in to the inside here, just like that. Whoop. Keep it straight. Okay. Then I have a piece of Misty Moonlight here, and we're going to add pattern paper. Oh, I'm telling you pattern paper, but I'm doing the Kendra Cards Challenge number 14, and we're going to be making card sketch five and six, okay? So I'm going to just add pattern paper F to this misty moonlight. Let me get that. And if you're wondering what I mean by pattern paper F, I will have a link in the description box um, to how you can get the PDF from Kendra for free. And if you go to my blog at honeybeestampinghive.com, you'll also see I have... A a picture there of all of my pattern papers that I'm using for this car challenge and I have them labeled A, B, C, D, E, F and this is pattern F a piece from pattern F okay and I've put this on the wrong side of the paper but that's okay we are going to trim I see I have a little overhang 
So I just cut this paper a little too long or probably my Misty Moonlight a little too short, but it's just the tiniest bit. Okay, so we have that. And then I have a piece of the um, glimmer paper, the in color glimmer paper, and we're gonna put this onto our cardstock here. Let me see. I'm gonna put that about right there. Now, I don't think this is in the card um, sketch, but if you've been following me on this card challenge, I am using glimmer paper on all of my cards. So I am incorporating, and like I say all the time, a card sketch is just a starting point. You do not have to follow it exactly. It's just a starting point. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that little extra off right there. And then we're gonna glue this down to our card base. I'm trying to be careful because this is some new glue and I don't want to um, squeeze too hard <laughs> and get too much glue coming out. So we're going to just lay that right here on the card base. Okay. Next, we are going to stamp our outside sentiment and we're going to stamp the word hope and misty moonlight onto some Calypso Coral cardstock just like that and then and then and then we're going to do some die cutting so let me get the mini stamping and cut and emboss machine out so we're going to be using a little circle die let me get some washi tape to hold this down we're going to cut this out Okay, and then I have um, some more Calypso Coral, and I've added some adhesive sheet on the back. And we're going to die cut this little image from our um, dies. I'm going to put that on. Go ahead and run that through. Okay, so we have everything die cut out. So let's go ahead and get these pieces. Put our dies to the side. And I went ahead um, ahead, of, ahead of time and die cut using the nested essential dies. And this is basic white. And I think this is the largest of the, or the second largest of the um, nested essentials. Okay. And we are going to pop this out of here. Let's, I'm going to get all these bits out and I'll be right back. Okay. So I got everything taken out of there. And we're going to add this onto our um, nested essential piece here. Let me just peel this off of the adhesive sheets. Get the backing started. Mm. I'm gonna take that off. And I think, do I want it this way? No, I want it this way. We're gonna have that going just like that and I'm gonna cut off this extra at the bottom that is the reason I'm putting it on before I glue it down okay and now we're gonna take some liquid glue and we're gonna just add this on to our card front Add this about right here just like that and we're gonna get some stamping dimensionals to pop up our sentiment two should be good this is a small piece here we're gonna pop this up right there like that and then we're gonna get some 24 to 26 in color um, resin dots and uh, um, let's use the peach pie so I think I want to put one here 
one right there. Come on, small one. We're going to put another one about right there. And that is our first card done. That is super cute. I like that. Okay. Hope is believing in brighter tomorrow, in a brighter tomorrow. That is so pretty. Okay, let's move on to the second card because oh, we have lots of things to do. So the second one, we have a card base here of Summer Splash, the same size, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We have our inside here. We're gonna go ahead and glue some shimmer paper to the bottom of our inside. Ooh, I think I just put that glue way too high. Let me see. Nope, I didn't. Ooh, I got a little carried away with the glue. So let's go ahead and line this up straight. Okay, it looks like it's already cut for the inside is eight, um, eight and a half. Three and a half by four and three fourths. So that glimmer paper is, looks to be three fourths by three and a half. We're going to put that right in here like this. Okay, and then we're going to do some stamping. We have a, uh, what is this, stitched circle from the stitched, what is it called? Oh my gosh. Okay, we have a stitched circle from the stylish shapes dies. I don't know what, I forgot I was using that. So we're going to stamp on this happy birthday in summer splash. Okay, and I think that is all the stamping for this card. And we're gonna put this onto one of the dies um, in Pretty Peacock, and that is from the Everyday Details dies, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and glue these two together. I think I just showed you all the stuff I was using on the first card. I forgot to get the things out for the second one, <laughs> but that's okay. So we have our sentiment done. I'm gonna set that to the side. And then we have strips of the patterns B, C from the card sketch, and then some extra. So we have um, berry burst and some shimmer paper. And so we're gonna put these, let me see. This goes at the bottom. I have them labeled. This is the top. This one's going in the middle. Then that means these are going here. And that one's going there. And then we're gonna have this one, two, and like this. So we're gonna put all these strips onto our card base like this okay so I'll I'm gonna glue these down and I'll be right back okay we have our last piece here we're gonna glue this on right here at the top just like that okay so then I'm gonna get some stampin dimensionals and we are going to pop this sentiment up. And we're going to put this about right here. Mm, about right there. And then I have some flowers that I die cut using the um, Flowers of Beauty dies and some of the glimmer paper. And we're going to add these on. I think I'm missing one. I thought I had something else, but okay. I think I want to put this one right here. I think I want to put a dimensional on the back of that one. That's what I'm thinking. 
So I'm going to get a small dimensional. Oh, these are my black ones. I just popped, <laughs> pulled out the first thing. These are my small dimensionals, the mini ones. But this one is black. It doesn't have to be a black one. I just, that's just what I pulled out first. So I'm going to put that right there like that. Then I'm going to add these. I have two. Oh, I think I'm gonna put this one on top. Is that what I was doing? Hmm, no. Don't like it on top. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna do, so I'm just gonna do something. I'm gonna put that one there. And let's go ahead and put this small one. Let's put that one right there. Right there. Okay, and now we're going to add some embellishments, the in color resin dots. And we're going to use peach pie in the middle of these larger flowers. The, we're going to use the large peach pie. Then we're going to get a small petunia pop to go in the middle of that one. And we're going to call that card done. Super cute. I like that. Okay, let me show you the first card again. Sketch five and six from Kendra's card challenge number 14. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.